Pico CTF challenge and a challenge I'm going to be doing today is called information, which is part of the forensics uh, category of Pico CTF. So with this, they gave us a file. Files can always be changed in a secret way. Can you find a flag? So they gave us a .jpg and I downloaded it and I already did this challenge beforehand before I guess started this video. So if you click on the .jpg, it's just going to open up a cat picture. So what could we get with this cat picture? There's nothing in the background that we could use for the most part. So in these type of challenges, usually a specific cool tool called stenography. So what I'm going to look up is just egg online. Steg online and go with this first tool right here. And what I'm going to do is just drop the image file that we got. So it will be cat JPEG one. I guess we'll go with this one since this one's the recent one that we downloaded. I open it. And then once we open it, we see a bunch of options. But the one I'm going to go for is show string. So because sometimes with these stack challenges, they, since this is an easy one, most of the time what they do is just they insert a string value inside the image that you can't see on the image but inside the metadata of the image and then if you could extract the string value so i'm gonna do this and it's, there's a bunch of like string values so if we scroll down we see a bunch of these and like we see oh how do you know which one's the right one that we could extract so the one that i firstly tried was this one because this one looked awfully suspicious since this looks like a base 64 encoded string so if i just grab this and go on base 64 decode and the reason I know it's base 64 is because I've done so many challenges that you already have an idea on how this works. So if I just grab this and then decode this, we get Pico CTF, the metadata is modified. So if I just grab this and we get the flag. So if I just grab this and then insert it right here, we should solve this challenge. And then if we submit it, we solved it. So yeah, this is pretty fairly easy stenography challenge. Didn't require that much, I guess, uh, skill or time, but still pretty fun challenge overall. Anyway, that's about it for me. I hope you guys learned something new today. I know I did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.